Uh, so we're here with uh, Northwest Guilford head football coach uh, Chris Rusevich. Uh, coach, uh, you've been uh, coaching football in the triad for uh, um, a long time now. We have some experience um, at Guilford, of course. Uh, just uh, what was so appealing about the uh, Northwest Guilford job for you? Uh, it's it's a lot longer of a story than we probably have time for. But uh, you know, obviously, you know, I got a family here, three uh, kids that that go to school in Guilford County. It was exciting. It was an opportunity for me and my family to continue to stay here. Um, really was excited about becoming a head football coach again. I uh, had some people that had connections over here reach out to me knowing I was in the area and asked if I'd be interested in something like this. And I'll tell you, specifically the Northwest is recruiting Northwest for 10 plus years. I always felt that they had, uh, especially up front, big, strong linemen and uh, always felt that they could win football games here. And um, to no surprise, I still think they have that. And last year, of course, they had 10 wins and had a great year. Uh, and I'm just hoping I can be a part of building off of that. So, uh, so far through uh, the spring and summer, uh, just what would you say are some uh, strengths of uh, this year's uh, Vikings team? Well, I, I would go back to the O-line, D-line. I, I think they're big and strong, and I think we got a lot of depth there. Um, we've been competing hard since I got here up there to see you kind of in the weight room and on the field, and it's still competing. I mean, we're, we're not going to make any final decisions till probably after the first scrimmage at East Forsyth. Uh, I think that'll be a good test for those guys. Um, but I, I'd say, you know, of course, the strength is pretty obvious for those that follow Northwest. You got a quarterback coming back as a three year starter, player of the conference player of the year. You got a, a, a great receiving core with Prince Brown, Trenton Cloud. And then we got another young guy coming in, Rakeem Hammock, uh, who's going to be a freshman who I think is going to be a, um, you know, a spurt to our offense. And then, you know, we have a couple young guys, Austin Mitchell uh, as a receiver, stepping up too. So I think we have a, a slew of good wideouts for Tanner to continue to go. We got to learn how to protect them. Um, and I think we got about three running backs that we feel can make a difference in there. And defense. So we put in a new system, uh, but the good news is seven starters coming back. All seven have been moved to different positions. I think that solidified what we're trying to do. Uh, but uh, I think there's a lot of strengths, but we won't really find out the strengths until we get ready to at least scrimmage somebody and see how we do. And uh, just uh, what are some of your uh, overall thoughts on the uh, Metro 4A conference? Oh, gosh, that's a great question. I, you know, I, I said this since I got down here. Um, Guilford County, Forsyth County, I think are two of the strongest counties in the state. Uh, and I say this story every year, you know, when I was recruiting it, I remember there was, I think it was a, a, a what is it, five and seven Mount Tabor or something like that, was going down to play, you know, it was a Mallard Creek or an Independence or somebody like that down in Charlotte. Nobody was giving them a chance. And they went down and beat them in a first round playoff game. And I said, that just puts, points to the perspective of how good um, this, this, these two counties are. This conference, you know, coaching at Northern that one year, five teams made the playoffs. Um, it's a very strong, very well coached conference. And, and I think high school coaching in North Carolina is awesome. And I think it's very well coached. And I think that's what kind of pushed me into the direction of being able to take a role like this and stepping out of the college world. Because I feel like the competitive nature was still going to be there. And I'm excited about it. So it's a powerful conference. We're excited for the challenge. We're hoping to get strong through the three non-conference and get ready for conference play. Uh, thank you for your time this morning, Thank Coach. you. Appreciate you coming by. Thank you.